there are hundreds of thousands of potential new viruses out there that could be unleashed on us and they could be worse. So we have to learn the lessons from this. We have to change what we've done. The status quo is not an option. Alors on a pendant longtemps constaté qu'on était un problème pour le reste de la biodiversité. Maintenant, on se rend compte qu'on peut devenir un problème pour nous-mêmes. Et alors là, ça prend une autre dimension. In a crisis and in an emergency, we make all kinds of promises to change our way of doing things. But then as soon as a crisis is over, we forget and move on. Here we're talking about transnational organized criminal gangs who are poaching and smuggling at an industrial scale. Uh, we look at it happening with the ivory of the elephant, the horn of the rhino, the meat and the scales of the pangolin, the rosewood and many other species. It's transnational, it's organized, it's industrial. One thing that I think will become very clear for many politicians and policymakers is that health and, and the risk that a natural virus can create a, a level of devastation that is unimaginable. Uh, th this is something that we have to treat as the highest security threat. And we have to be willing to negotiate with, uh, you know, the, at the highest political levels and think very, very differently about how we govern the preparedness and response to outbreaks. Available now on Video On Demand.